Well, good morning. Uh, just got a quick delivery. I uh, thought I'd do a very quick uh, unboxing uh, and uh, take a quick look at uh, what we got, uh, what I got in. Uh, just uh, got this off uh, of eBay, so let's uh, open it up and see if there is a bunch of foam in here. Yeah. So I think you probably already know what it is. This is a uh, GPS antenna uh, designed, I believe, for uh, a GPS timing action. But I don't see a little, I don't see a definition on it, so. We'll need to maybe take a look at that uh, later on. CD. I believe that has the uh, communication software. This is a uh, ooh, little XLR based uh, power supply for the unit. Let's uh, open it up. Let's get more in here. There's the power supply and a serial cord. Awesome. Okay, so let's take those over here. And then let's take this guy out of the box. Alright, so now let's bring this, uh, this back in. And you can see uh, what it is. Let me see if I can get a little bit more light on that. Uh, it's a Zulu 3805 Alpha. Uh, GPS time and frequency reference receiver. So uh, this is uh, one that's actually been uh, worked on by this guy here. Let's uh, see if we can get a better view of it. Um, supposedly reconditioned, and it has a uh, it has a uh, uh, temperature controlled or a double temperature controlled uh, oscillator uh, in there. So uh, uh, wanted to just uh, get it turned on and uh, we'll see if it uh, uh, give it a couple of hours it takes to uh, uh, pick up a signal okay so now we have it connected up and I have it plugged into my uh, PC and uh, we can see that uh, uh, the power lights come on and I don't have anything else on yet which I'd sort of expect because uh, when these things boot up they're going to go through an acquisition phase and uh, and try and acquire the the time. Um, what I've noticed is, uh, uh, and forgive the crudity of this, but uh, I hooked it up to my uh, my 53131A, and you can see that there's nothing coming out of the channel, and so that uh, is probably a case of the system being turned off until uh, uh, it gets a lock and so on. So now that I've, con I've connected the software in, so let's take a look at that. Okay, so here we have uh, uh, my desktop and you can see that uh, I put the disc in. It's come from a Chinese seller on eBay. Uh, fortunately, there were no uh, uh, viruses on it. So uh, what I can do now is uh, I installed the uh, SatStat program, which originally came from HP and then has now uh, come from Symmetricom. And so if I run that, you, we see these two windows. So let's just open this up a little bit more. Um, and so now I'm going to go in and just check the settings. You know, and we can see that 9600, 8, 9, 1, that's fairly standard. So let's try and open the COM port and see what happens. Ooh, communication established. So it means that at least we're uh, talking to the device now, which is pretty cool. It's requesting status. And here we can see synchronization, the outputs are invalid. Yep, that's what we'd expect because uh, we've only just turned it on. Um, and you can see that the power-up mode is in GPS acquisition. Uh, you know, I don't know if really what some of this other stuff in here, we can see that it still thinks it's January 2002. It's invalid, it's not tracking. Uh, it's uh, surveying. So we'll see how uh, that goes. So we'll leave that running and then uh, I'll come back uh, after a couple of hours, they say it takes a few hours for it to warm up and then uh, capture. So we'll see how it uh, how it goes. Now I'm assuming this here can go and give us. Uh, uh, hey, there we go. So it's coming back as Symmetricom. Nice. So this is Skippy enabled, which is pretty cool. Which means that um, I should be able to hook this up and have it talk through. Uh, 
uh, my uh, uh, talk through the the visa libraries and be able to uh, actually uh, get uh, data directly. I'm betting that if I actually ran Lady Heather, this would probably work too. Let's let's give that a quick try. Okay, so now we're. Uh, I don't need want to read that. Don't want to read that. So we have Lady Heather. Uh, it's probably best not to uh, go searching on the web for that. All right, so there's no com port open. Oh. Okay. So let me stop the Symmetricom stuff, and we'll see if let's launch this again. Detecting receiver. There we go. Skippy receiver, nice. Oh, so clearly there's an error. Oh, I'm guessing there's something about uh, uh, Windows 10 or this device it doesn't like. Anyway, let's stop that because that's uh, annoying. And I'll have to have a look into that. But as we saw, you know, sat stat was uh, working quite well. Overall, I'm pretty happy with, uh, with this, so we'll give it uh, a little bit of time and we'll see how, uh, how it goes uh, on its uh, site survey and uh, hopefully it'll be up and running. Anyway, if you like this, give it a, a thumbs up. Uh, I don't have a thumbs emoji here, uh, but uh, we'll catch uh, you again later.